Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So for those of you who've watched uh, some of my other videos, you'll probably know that uh, I enjoy the traveling and the journey as much as the destinations that we get to visit with our camper vans. And today's video is very much about the trip that we made uh, with our one of the trips that we made with our Volkswagen T5. In this journey we head um, from Borg San Maurice uh, up the little St Bernard Pass or the Col de Petit Saint Bernard in a beautiful summer season and enjoying some stunning alpine views on the way. This was uh, quite a hairy trip heading up some very twisty and uh, precarious roads in our van but was well rewarded when we got to the top with stunning views across the alpine meadows and a beautiful picnic. So, so enjoy the video and um, let me know in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to do any similar trips or any other ideas for other trips that we could take in our camper van. So the T5 was all loaded up and ready to go and we head off out from the campsite through Borg San Maurice and follow the signs through seas heading out towards the little St Bernard Pass. Route's well signposted just keep an eye on the road signs as we go and we pick up the D1090 and head first of all towards La Rosière. Heading out through the village on the left hand side, a little garage, lovely little old camper parked outside. And on the routes, our first hairpins, and we start to enjoy the beautiful alpine scenery and the wonderful ski chalets that are dotted across the landscape. So we head up through these villages. The road zigzags gently as we climb, each turn getting higher and higher. But as we switch back, we're rewarded with a wonderful view back down the valley and across down to Borg San Maurice. It's difficult to imagine that in the winter, these are completely covered with snow, completely different landscape. Then the summer, really lush and green, beautiful landscape. The locals are far more used to these roads than we were. As you can see, local van drivers are quite happy to overtake and blast past. Again, going from bend to bend. past several motorbike riders who'd been up and enjoyed the drive up to the summit. So as we head out past Mont Valazan, we're on our way up to La Rosière and we start to see on the ground the famous names of some amazing cyclists as this is one of the routes from the Tour de France over the years. You can see how much the road narrows as we head up the mountain. If you imagine the hundreds of thousands of spectators or their motorhomes and camper vans on either side of the road, you can just imagine what an intense experience it would be to cycle up this route and be a spectator here as well. I doubt the cyclists get much time to enjoy the view though. Mont Valazan is another beautiful little alpine village. Some lovely chalets. 
weekend and enjoying stunning views. Here we take a sharp left, heading up to La Rosière. Again here the road starts to get steeper, narrower, twistier. And the scenery even more spectacular. In winter, La Rosière is a busy little ski resort with access directly up to the ski runs. In the summer, it's a beautiful village with stunning views. Still plenty of cyclists trying to complete the climb and enjoying the good weather. tell when you're getting close to the top of a, a climb or a particular part of the stage on these alpine routes that have been used as a tour because there's lots and lots of graffiti sprayed onto the tarmac all the team names the great rider names you can almost hear the crowds cheering journey up the roads were fairly quiet and we were able to make good progress and the weather was stunning as you can see which meant great views all around Coming up to the next junction, it's the final stretch of the climb up to the little St Bernard Pass. Still a bit more of a main road as we pull out and then follow the route all the way up to the summit. Notice as we continue along this road, the scenery becomes more barren. We pass through and above tree line, still get to enjoy some stunning scenery. Past the commemorative sign for the Tour de France stage, 
in July 2018. I just find it amazing that every view is so stunning. Periodically there's marker posts on the side of the road to determine how far it is to the summit of the climb. The one that we just passed still showed 11 kilometers till the rise, till we've met the St Bernard Pass top. Motorbikes and hot hatches do like to race up the roads. You have to be mindful of that when you're driving. And join these twisty alpine routes. Sometimes you do wonder whether they're aware of the vehicles that could be coming the other way. First sight of snow. We start to uh, the final few kilometres up to the very top of the pass. Much more barren, much more rocky. few twists and turns and these cyclists their legs must be absolutely burning having cycled all the way up from the base of the valley just see the statue to St Bernard up on the top of the outcrop side just overlooking the view down through the valley. So the top of the pass on the left hand side as we drive past there is a building which is the hospice, hostelry. So this hostelry and hospice run by the monks also contains a museum and exhibition now, depicting the history of the pass. very very close to the Italian border you've got these beautiful alpine meadows all spread out really nice and level and quite sheltered despite being very very high up We're now about 2200 meters above sea level Being a border crossing, often get lots of people congregating just to walk and experience crossing from one nation to the other. As we head up to the border crossing, it's very easy just to drive straight into Italy with no obstructions, or certainly was at the time that this video was shot. Whether that will be the same now, now that uh, European regulations for us British has changed, we'll see. Customary tourist shop on the left, past the St Bernard statue, the dog, not the saint. And as we head round these bends, we cross 
into Italy. So roads usually open from May to October and then outside of these times then it's very much part of the ski area. The La Thrille ski area, the Italian ski area, so we're now in Italy. And you'll see on the left in a moment the ski lift. And the cable runs running up the slopes. Passing by the ski lift and the regulatory signs for driving in Italy, we decide to pull over, park up and enjoy an amazing view of the Italian Alps. So our ascent of the little St Bernard Pass is complete. We have continued further on down this road in the past and it takes you down into the Aosta Valley and down to Cormaya. On this trip we decided to just enjoy the view and then we turned around and headed back for a picnic. At the top of the pass there's some wartime fortifications from World War II and there's also a stone circle that is believed to date from the Iron Age and potentially a ceremonial site. So crossing back through the border through the border station, unmanned. Past the obligatory gift shop. And pulled up for our lunch stop. So my lovely, where are we? Col du Petit Saint Bernard. Which is? 2,188 meters. Behind you? France. La France. Behind Ben? Italy. Italia. And in the middle? No man's land. So we've just had a nice picnic right on the border. We're going to wander that way down to the St Bernard Hospice, find out all about it, past the cows. They're all coming this way. As we found with our travels, through the Alps over recent years that pretty much every mountain pass you drive over or walk over or go and visit there's always a chapel at the top and there's a particularly quaint one here at the top of the Little St Bernard Pass very very small we took the opportunity to sign the visitors book and then enjoy the view before exploring the immediate surroundings, enjoying the view and heading back on our journey back down to Borg San Maurice.
there's two or three opportunities on the way back down to park up at some stunning viewpoints and enjoy the panoramic views which we took advantage of the last time we visited and drove this road the weather was atrocious mist rain wind even though it was summer and we had no idea of the stunning views that we saw on this visit now hopefully we'll get the opportunity to visit again and who knows one day maybe to go skiing So thanks very much indeed for watching today's video. Remember to hit the button to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content that I'm putting together here on Campervan Journey. And uh, remember to check back soon for another video from me here. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.